Hi, I'm Ernie Conover. In a previous video, I showed you how to repair a turned or a square table leg by piecing another piece of wood together with the original piece using a scarf joint and high quality glue. In this video, I'd like to show you some more turning repair techniques. This is a nice little astrical bead and just a moment ago as I set this demonstration up, I purposely got a good catch with a skew chisel there and I've taken the top off of my bead. And I can repair this pretty easily by taking a rabbiting plane and, and Planing that whole area flat. And I went to the scrap bin and found some of the cutoffs from this wood as I prepared it on the saw. And I've cut a nice little piece that overlaps that area. And I have some tight bond cyanoacrylate or super glue right here. And I'm going to apply a, a good liberal amount right there. And I'll take our little block of wood here, and I did take the trouble to hand plane that nice and smooth. And I'm spraying some accelerator, which is a catalyst. We'll make this glue dry very rapidly. I'm pressing these two together. I'll let this dry for a minute or so. I've got a bond now. So I'll make sure this clears my tool rest. Now I get out a spindle gouge. Bring that shoulder up a little bit. I'll put two nice grooves there to incise the edge of that bead. And there, we've pretty handily fixed our broken crest on our bead there. And we've saved ourselves a lot of work of cutting another billet, turning another leg. Once you put finish on this, no one will ever notice that new piece that was just put in there. It'll work just as well with a bad skew catch right in the middle of a spindle. You can just plane a big flat spot in here, put another piece of wood on it. I exaggerated how big I made the repair piece just to show you how strong this glue can be. And you can really get away with murder, it holds fine. Cyanoacrylate glue is also great for repairing defects in bowls and spindles where you have a, a little catch or even a defect in the wood. You can take some shavings from the bed of your lathe, fill the area with medium viscosity cyanoacrylate glue, which is what I've used throughout this demonstration. And then you can dribble that sawdust in there and kind of mix it together, put a little more glue on it, let it dry naturally, and you'll get a pretty darn good repair that nobody will really notice. Great thing to have in your bag of tricks when things go wrong.